Do you realize that there are animals that are resistant to certain diseases that actually kill humans? It's true, and I'm going to talk about four of them. It's just an interesting topic. Let's start with the elephant, okay? Elephants don't get cancer. They're protected from cancer, yet they have over a hundred times more cells than humans. But why don't they get cancer? Well, they isolated that they have 20 copies of a very specific gene called TP53, which is a tumor suppressor gene. You have these genes in your body that suppress tumors, okay? Well, they have 20, and humans only have one. And that gene is called the guardian of the genome. Well, quite fascinating. Then you have the naked mole rat, okay? Which is also protected from cancer. And they have extreme high levels of something called hyaluronin, which is a compound that can cage the cancer and keep it from spreading. Quite interesting. They're also protected from hypoxia, lack of oxygen, probably because they live most of their life underground and there might not be a lot of oxygen down there. They're also protected against oxidative stress. They have this highly expressed gene called NRF gene, which is also called the master of oxidative stress protection. Now this gene, which I'm gonna do a video on this, is quite fascinating because we also have this gene, has the ability to protect against diseases in extreme environments related to oxidation. And it actually controls your antioxidant uh, levels that give you protection against oxidation. It also stimulates a very high level of autophagy, which can then remove stress damage proteins. So the naked mole rat, very interesting animal. You might want to consider getting a pet instead of your gerbil or hamster because they live 30 years. Then you have bears. Did you realize that a bear becomes diabetic when it hibernates? And then when it awakens, that diabetes goes away. So what happens is when they go into hibernation, their insulin just shuts right down. Why? So they can tap into their fat reserves because higher levels of insulin block the ability to tap into fat. And also during the summer months when they're eating a lot and getting fat, uh, which they increase their fat over 50%, they don't even get insulin resistance at all. It's only when they start to hibernate that the body starts shutting down insulin. Very interesting. Then you have the chimpanzee, and they're protected against pathogens by using certain leaves. Okay, So instead of chewing them, they actually roll these leaves around in their mouth and it kills the bacteria, fungus, parasites. And so it acts as a very powerful antibiotic. I'm just curious how they found out that that leaf does that. I mean, I have no idea, but it's quite interesting. So anyway, that's all I have in this video. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide. Major updates on the body types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan. Okay, If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever want to know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause, 
I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress, and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you, within 45 minutes, learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.